and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. Earlier this morning, shots were fired from northern Gaza at IDF forces across the border. Luckily, no one was hurt, but the IDF responded by shelling a Hamas post. Tensions along the border have flared since a rocket fired from the Gaza Strip landed in a southern Israeli town, leading the IDF to retaliate against key Hamas targets with as many as 50 airstrikes. Hamas is claiming the response is Israel's attempt to change the status quo in Gaza, and Israel has agreed. The Israeli defense minister claims that Israel will not sit still as long as Hamas is continuing to rearm itself and build attack tunnels into the Jewish state. The Israeli army has just rolled out a new training program that's focused on teaching soldiers how to respond to Palestinian terror attacks with non-lethal measures. The new training program was released in response to the month-long wave of Palestinian terror attacks that began last October, in which many young Palestinian assailants were killed by Israeli security forces while carrying out attacks. Senior defense officials have criticized the use of excessive force in subduing Palestinian attackers, and now the Israeli army is striving to connect training with what's happening on the ground. Israeli soldiers are being taught various Krav Maga techniques used to neutralize attackers without using their weapons. Israelis began their work week on Sunday morning with traffic chaos, with clogged highways and hundreds of canceled trains. Commuters were attempting to make their way by car and bus instead of the train, as some 150 train departures on the Haifa Tel Aviv route, the country's busiest, were canceled for Sunday. The closure affected around 150,000 travelers and commuters, including thousands of soldiers returning to their bases after weekends home. At issue is the fight between Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Transportation Minister Yisrael Katz over allowing repairs to rail lines on the Sabbath. Planned repair work to the rail lines was ordered to be frozen by Netanyahu on Friday evening after the ultra-Orthodox parties Shas and United Torah Judaism threatened to topple the coalition if desecration of the Jewish Sabbath was not prevented. The surprise cancellation caught Israel Railways crews by surprise after they had already disassembled parts of the track. Unable to return the tracks to their place due to the onset of the Sabbath on Friday night, the company was forced to leave the tracks unusable throughout Saturday. They're now scheduled to conclude the repairs on Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. A second shipment of Turkish aid for the Gaza Strip was sent on Friday from the country's southern coast bound for Israel's port of Ashdod. There, its cargo will be unloaded and transferred to the Strip by trucks passing through the area's crossing. The shipment included 100 wheelchairs, 1,000 bicycles, 100,000 backpacks and stationary kits, 300,000 pieces of clothing, and 350,000 diapers. The shipment also contained 1,288 tons of flour, 170 tons of rice, 64 tons of sugar, and 95 tons of vegetable oil. The shipment is supposed to be distributed to the people of Gaza in time for the upcoming Islamic holiday of Eid al daha which starts around September 12th. The first shipment from Turkey reached Gaza on July 4th, just in time for the Muslim Eid celebrations marking the end of Ramadan fasting. This is the second shipment by Turkey to Gaza since relations were normalized between Israel and Ankara in June. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.